Okay, what's next on the agenda for DPC? Now, we tested this at 48, and then I tested the other fan at 22.2. So we're going to see if there's a difference, because that was a 100C battery. That'll be the next test. I'll do a video, probably a time-lapse one on the GoPro, of me kind of swapping these over, and then uh, adding the new blades that I've decided to put on there, and then... Uh, Get the dual drone back up for you guys. My helium tint is up. Substrate is basically saturating. as my ink bird down there. Uh, for the humidity. Humidifier's up. Temp gun. And uh, that's for the Panola Stipticus. So that's for some bioluminescent growth. And of course, we're getting the CRISPR Cas9. So we can... Uh, do some genetics with uh, orchids. That'll be fun. <sighs> All you need is some wires and a 120 FESC 6S. And you'll be in the air soon. And then hopefully I can hang it up and get to my CNC machine over here. Because <laughs> I have some work to do. Other than that... We have a new planetary gear system for this. It's going to be a bit smoother. Double the teeth plus they're a um, crescent, crescent moon gear. So I don't know if anyone's heard of it, but should still give me um, good engagement without wearing the bearings or the gears down too fast, like on that last run. And the part that got rounded off, I just flipped it over. <laughs> flipped it over, put the index back on the side so we could try it again. With that 70-70 flip sky, which is also what's pushing that, which is ironic because it's, it's just crazy. And that was a good run because it was pushing this stuff like all off the table. So we know it was putting out some thrust. It was just noisy as hell. But we're going to get it. We're almost there. Don't miss it. I'm going to be printing that up. That'll be next. And 22.2 volts on that. And then we're, uh, and of course the dildo, we can't forget that. So stay tuned.